Sorry, YouTube. <clears throat> We're going to place a little bit of Legacy tonight. Um, this is the deck that I top made in the challenge with this weekend. I will link in the bottom the description a video where I just talk about this deck and talk about the challenge, but I don't want to double dip. So let's just jump in and play some games. We're going to have fun tonight. Tonight's probably going to be a little fast and loose. We played a lot of Magic today, so we're just kind of going to be happy that we did well and just go to town. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> I really like this deck. This deck feels like it feels closer to Rug Delver than like these post Death Ray Shaman Ban Grixis Delver decks. Um that I think I think that I don't know. I, I think this is I think like this deck being lower to the ground is just where you want to be. It's where I'm excited to be. So we already messed up and we didn't get the die roll. We're gonna keep this though. That happens. We're not happy about it, but it happens. <clears throat> Looks like our bolts are not good here. Alright, we're doing another land. Yes. Like I said today, I went I went 10-0. Uh, I went 9 or 10 -0 on the play. I'm going to snap that thing off, okay? So I think we're either playing against Miracles or we're playing against... Um, we're either playing against Miracles or, like, Sneak and Show. And here's the, the, here's the part that's, that's not good about being on the draw list deck. Do I just not play my Bob or my Pyromancer, and I think that's wrong to do. <clears throat> and I think we need more than what we have in hand to win this game. So we're going to start with Bob. <clears throat> okay. This isn't even necessarily a bad brainstorm from our opponent. Okay. Standard is great. Standard is absolutely great, Farby. It's not a poor like decision at all. If they bolt this, I think I'm going to force it. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so now we just got to hope that our interaction is good. Ancient Tomb. It's probably not good. I think we're... I'm so... I think we're going to lose here that I'm not going to show them this stifle. Like, I think this is just a spell pierce. Oh, wow. That resolved. No way. Now I wish I had my Brainstorm. Your standard deck is fully foiled. Is it the mono blue deck? So it's like $35 foiled. Okay, well, we're going to go like this. Jeez. Okay, well, let's put back Bolt Delver. Let's put back uh, Bolt Land, or Land Bolt. Attack. And then play a Delver. Probably should have given myself the option to Bolt my opponent here. We get to draw both of these, which is a little unfortunate. Yep. <clears throat> All right, that's... Okay. So if my opponent sends in a, I think we're going to let this go. If this is an Emrakul, we're just going to stifle the, or we're going to stifle the uh, this trigger here. 
And now they're in a lot of trouble. So we're going to draw a double bolt. This is going to flip. This is three, five, six, seven, 13. They're dead. Even through seven points here. <clears throat> The hint, my Santa, no, no, the hint is that spoil sounds like proxy spoil. Oh, okay. For Nexus of Fate. Yeah, now they're just dead on the untap. So now we can, like, stifle a blocker coming in and double bolt them. And this is a this is a really solid matchup, I think. So we want first in, last out. So we want to put Bob first. So this Delver flips. So reveal lightning bolt. Draw lightning bolt. Draw volcanic island. And we can even bolt whatever they block, like even if they have a force of will for this. Yes, if Mrs. Hellfun can't rely on being able to hunt your angle, that's still enjoyable. Yeah, I mean it's a it's a cool deck. Alright, now we're just gonna bolt them. And even if they force this again, we bolt them and we kill them. So we just have them here. And like Stifle played a role in this game. Stifle's going to keep a creature, like they're going to have to force it, and it traded with the Gristlebrand activation. <clears throat> so I mean, Stifle looked hella good here, even on the draw. And that's what the card, the card has, the card has a lot going on for it in the format. And they can't pay for this. This thing about Bob, Bob just sits in play here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like Bob just sits in play against these combo decks and draws you a million cards. So Pyroblast comes in. Surgicals come in, Diabol Heat it comes in, even though we're sad about it, and Vendillion Click. These true names go out. Um, Fork Bolt goes out. I'm going to cut like two bolts and one stifle. I'm going to keep my days in because, like, when it comes down to it, they're just trying to resolve a three mana spell, which is just that's what days is good against. We don't need all the stifles in the draw. But we definitely want them on the play. This is the nice thing about Bob too. Even though we have fives and we have a seven, like we're not our life total is not under pressure. So like, whatever Bob just sits there and doesn't do anything. Ah, <clears throat> oh, this hand's not that good. I think I'm gonna keep it, but it's not great. If someone that was smarter than I am said they were gonna to get rid of this, I would get it. All right, we're gonna just waste them on this. We're just gonna set them back. Well, now I don't really want to waste them. But the problem is if they just go, I don't think it's worth playing my Bob. Just get rid of this. Phil's good. We've had Phil for a year today. He's he's resting. You know, like he he. Uh, he got neutered, and now we have to watch him just to make sure that he doesn't, you know, mess with himself. Because he, we can't let the cut get bad. They only work on GDS lists. I thought we have a lot of changes in thought. All right. Well, pull, I have this up here, and I'll look at it in between here. <clears throat> I don't think I want to hold this stifle up because they can just go land, like, soul land show and tell. So we're going to look for a daze or a force. We found... Nothing like that, and now we're ready to die.
Yeah, the extra bait's there because you don't have surgicals. Jay. I think I'm just going to wasteland them again. Because we just don't have any interaction yet. Yeah, and I'm just going to move through my phase here. We're not getting anything blasted. We're looking for forcer days. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Again, I don't think these are very good. We want counter magic, which we got, which is great. So as you see, we're playing like the mana denial plan on the draw, which is a little, certainly a little worse. And here we're just gonna jam Bob. Oh. Well, now I'm gonna hold up Pyroblast, brainstorm end of turn, find my third land, and then I can either click them or just play Dark Hoffinaut with Pyroblast up. Ooh, no land from our opponent. Now I'm definitely going to play Bob, and if I can head Stifle up, I'm going to do that. All right, we don't need the second. Well, the second Stifle, well, probably the Wasteland is going to be better than the second Stifle. So let's just, actually, I can just shuffle both of them away. Now nah, this Wasteland is going to be good at some point. I could just click them, but I would rather just get this going. We can click them at any time. And now they need like double force to get us here. All right. Oh, wow, they don't have it. All right, I'm going to fetch in my upkeep. The hero question Jace is Jace for playing Wilt. Uh, I have to look in a second. So we're going to fetch, and then I'm going to wasteland this city of traders. Yeah, you probably should just take them out of modern mill, anyways. All right, we flip to force. And the nice thing is here, we have a lightning bolt so we can kill our own Bob. I'm gonna wasteland this, and then I'm gonna click them at the end of the turn to turn up the heat a little bit. <coughs> okay. So they just get their land. <clears throat> and there's no way they're comboing through double blast force of will. So. Just gonna click them. Show me the goods, opponent. It's just Bob's just insane. Because like nobody kills it in the format. Um I'm just gonna leave them with it. Like we like if they want to blood moon me, they can blood moon me. You can just have it, we'll five you. Okay, we drew another Bob. We're not playing the second one out. And I'm just going to go to discard, and I'm going to discard this Bob. We don't want to play it because we don't want to just get punched in the face too many times. We have them on two-turn clock. 
defense grid. That's got to go. Actually, no, I've got to force this. That's a little scary. <clears throat> okay, so they pitched force, pitch force. So now we're just going to blast this. And even if they put sneak attack into play, we can stifle the first activation. And they still have to find red mana. Okay, they just scoop it up. That's what they, I mean, like Bob just literally sits in play and dominates the game against these combo decks. <clears throat> okay, what were you saying? Okay, I don't love mana better than Jace. I don't love mana. Uh, <clears throat> it depends on what's in your metagame. Like, there's humans, you should have lava man, but there's not a lot of humans right now. So, I think, um, I think that lava man is. A little overrated at the moment. <clears throat> All right, who would like to play first? And I would like to keep this hand. <clears throat> we're gonna ponder for lands because we're pretty susceptible to wasteland. Here. <clears throat> Let's go through the upkeep. Ponderosa. Um, gosh, this is scary. I think I'm going to keep this. And we're going to draw force next turn. Probably should have drawn it that turn. We're going to hope we don't get wastelanded. If we get wastelanded, we're just like screwed. We're up shit creek without a paddle, but like that's life. Okay. Oh, punished for a monolith. Days that. We're punished for not leading with our, um, for not putting our force on top. But we're just going to wasteland this. Yeah. We're drawing Bob next turn, but then we get to like play our land and then play Brainstorm to find our second land. Excuse me. Cloud forest, okay. <clears throat> Burn. So the better the best way to fight Titans with this tangle stroke, but you shouldn't even play Terminate. Burn two X nine turn remove it's this one. You board in Jace every time you board in Lava Mancer. Every time you board in Snap the Snapcaster used to be. So like you board in Jace in the mirror. Not other many other places. Like Jace is, you board in Jace against every deck that you want to kill creatures. Um, hang on. What is this? Like anytime you want to kill a lot of creatures, you board in Jace and a deck that has Snapcast or a Thoughtseize in it. This is just two mana, so this still could be a um it definitely could be a chalice. Spyglass. I'm just gonna pierce this because it this messes up my fetch lands, but that's it. I think I'm just gonna let this go and hope they don't name a fetch land that matters. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna brainstorm at a turn, hit my second land drop, and then force their next play. Then have Bob ride us, ride Bob to victory. He chose wasteland. Okay. Wow. That's so bad. Uh. 
Okay. So we have to look at two. I have to waste have to brainstorm again because we have to look at two Doom cards. Okay, so we hit a land, which is good. Um, we get rid of this true name in the second Bob, I think. To play this Meyer. We were almost locked. We weren't quite locked. Though we are in trouble because like they can just start developing their mana so well now with all these cloud posts. Really needed a bob there. Uh, I mean, like, they're completely different decks. Like, one of them is proactive through discard spells, and one is, like, proactive through threats. Grim Monolith. So we just spell pierce this. So I might lead on the Pyromancer because it's a faster clock. That's probably the right thing to do. Yeah, especially that we hit that. It's like we're just attacking for one more point this turn. Could have held my spell pierce, I guess. <clears throat> I think we have to shuffle this. These two cards are just too bad. Like the bolt's nice when it comes to just speeding up the clock, but we have to finish this game. I'm probably just going to play my true name next turn. Reality Smasher. Kneel through this turn. And now I just want to ponder. But I can ponder and play Bob, which is the same amount of damage as playing a true name. And Bob's going to dig me like more forces and Gurmag anywhere, I guess. I can stack this right to make sure I don't take as much damage. Uh, stifle, stifle, ponder. I think this is a shuffle. Po Stifle's not good in this matchup here. I'm just going to play Bob. It'll find me more gas. How expensive is Legacy on MTGO? Um, you can rent it at 3% through Card Hoarder, and it's pretty decent. So if a deck costs, I don't know, this deck costs like 400 tickets, I think. You can rent it on Moto through Card Hoarder, and it's not going to cost you that much money. It's going to cost you 3% of $500, and you can have it for 3% per week, and you can have it for as long as you want. So, like, like this version of the deck costs five, 500 tickets. It'll cost you 1%, 10% of that's $50, 1% of it's $5, whatever 3% of 500 is for the week. Can't do math. Okay, so this is an end bringer. That's a problem. Four, fifteen, twenty, one, six. Dude, this deck is sweet. So yeah, you can you can have tendrils for the week at three percent of one seventy five. Rifle, Underground Sea. All right, so I'm just sending in here with the squad as we got to make something happen. We can't just sit. If they block Bob, they block Bob. That's a whatever. <clears throat> They're probably going to block Pyromancer, and then we can play True Name. They just blocked a token. Oh, they don't want to lose this. Like, I guess we're projecting bolt. All right, that's legit. Target our bolt. So 
We're just trying to make things happen here. We're going to be able to stifle one of these Endbringer triggers. We still have four bolts in our deck. So, like, we likely can set up an attack where we can get enough damage in. Yes, it is. Anyone can rent. We're just making a token. That's all I'm doing over here. So, block shoot, take. So, dead bolts. This is a walking ballista, or an Ulamog. It looks like an Ulamog. Gross. That probably kills us. They should Maybe they should hit both my red sources. I don't know. Okay, they're going to hit both my things that do stuff. That's respectable. So I can ponder into Brainstorm into two bolts. Or I guess it's probably best to play Ponder Brainstorm into two bolts. So I've got two bolts, you know, the top, whatever. Or I can play Pyromancer and make another token and then threaten to get them. That's probably better is to get Pyromancer, make tokens. So yeah, I'm just gonna attack. I'm gonna play Pyromancer and Ponder. We have one, we have cantrips of bolt we could get here, so I'm not going to leave up the underground city. Okay, they just shoot it down. Well, that's step one. So now we pass, block out for the turn, and then we brainstorm into lightning bolt, kill them with true nemesis. That's how we win. Yeah, it's on the card hoarder open page and it's the loan program. If you just go cardhoarder.com, you can't miss it. Yeah, it's literally like right on the front page here. I'll, I'll link it in the chat. Oh, nope, that shows my loan program. So let me go like this. Yeah, there it is. We're going to brainstorm end of turn, I think, just to give us the most amount of mana to find what we need. And we're going to let them have the top, whatever, 20 or so cards of our deck. We're dead to like a Ballista. But that's pretty much it. What'd they get? One, two, so there's two bolts in the last 18 cards. So one, two, three, four, five. They only have five. Well, no, this is two, four, five, six, seven. So they can ballista for three. So block, block, put one in front, go to four. One, two, four, six, two, four, five, six, seven. So they can ballista for three. So I want to end this combat at at least three points. So we're going to go here, we're going to go here, and then I think I just double block this, because then I take three, go to five, and then if they ballista for three, if I go to four, the untap kills me, yeah, so we just block here, double block, we go to five, and we get a bunch of looks at lightning bolt, and walking ballista doesn't kill us now.
and a turn brainstorm. And we're dead. What a tilt. I guess if we had waited, we'd have seen one more card. So maybe I'm supposed to wait. And I can't block out of this. Because even if I play Bob, yeah. I guess I'm supposed to wait. Because we get to look at one more card, I guess, on the Brainstorm. What was the next one? Underground Sea? Okay. Sad. So we want a Braid, a Braid, Edict, Edict. <clears throat> and that's probably it. Fork Bolt can go. Gurmag Angler's good. Stifle is not. I'm going to cut all the stifles. I'm just going to bring in like a random click. I think just something that attacks is probably better than random one of these. I was just worried that we like, in case we brainstormed to like ponder, you know, that we want to have as, ma as much mana to keep digging as possible. That was unfortunate. I think we played well. I mean, we didn't hit our, like, what, what what screwed us is that we brainstorm blocked ourselves. Or we didn't find a land that one turn. <clears throat> yeah, I thought I thought we looked at as many cards as we could to give us a chance to win. Like we had three outs that killed him on the spot with lightning bolt. Um Lightning Bolt and Four Bolt. Alright, this hand's a little sketch, but we're gonna keep it. It's nice that it doesn't that it doesn't get um we can do we can like let a chalice or like um monolith resolve. But we're looking for a threat. And this is a shuffle. This is not a threat. All right, Wasteland's nice. Wasteland could change my plays. So the problem with this is if we let this resolve, they just name Misty Rainforest, so we actually got to fetch this. As annoying as that is. And then we can't, like if we'd have fetched a red source, we could have dealt with that. Wow, those are nice draws. Just keep the mana hungry deck off of lands. If they play another soul land here, I'll just wasteland them. Like honestly, I might wasteland any land they play. If I don't have anything good to do on my next turn.
Oh, one, give me one second. Okay. Okay, so this Trinity Nemesis makes me want to build up. I don't think they can do anything that scary to me next turn. So I want to get the Trinity down before I Wasteland them. If they, like, chalice me here, I can just abrade it. All right, so we're going to fetch. Let this happen. <clears throat> Dude, Bob is like the best draw in a lot of places. So yield until next end step. We're just going to upgrade this, turn off auto yields. Shoot, okay. Bob here would be good. A two drop here would be nice. Something to pair with this wasteland. That works, because now we can find a ponder or we can find a Delver or a Gurmag Angler. Okay, so we can Pyromancer next turn. So let's go like this. And I'm just going to waste them. Like, I don't think I can afford to take a turn off here. We want to take out the one that makes a lot of mana. <clears throat> it would have been very nice to hit a... Um, to hit something relevant there. To hit like a, even another land so that we can go like Pyromancer plus Bolt you. Because we do have to start like getting out ahead of them, you know? We can't just sit on our heels forever. So we're drawing Lightning Bolts, especially this Basilisk Collar. I have Ugin. Tilt. I need pizza days. Okay. This thing's going to be tough. I mean, we can like bolt it and block. Like, we have another bolt on top. I mean, they're probably going to take true name. We're going to make no mistake, we're in a lot of trouble here. We're going to need a Dynamite. Um, we're going to need a Dynamite. Uh, go around here. We're just going to let it. I could, I could attack and like bolt it to draw another card. That seems kind of loose when we can just like set something up in the future. This game's likely over. I don't foresee us winning this one. Okay. And you can't be attacking, right? I'm gonna bolt them. Because we have another bolt, we might have to like do something fancy here to figure this out. Like we could just draw another land and double bolt this thought knots here, but like Jump check. Got him.
and sorcery speed. Oh, I always forget to do that. I do read chat, Farby. Bolt, block, draw a card. A good draw would be like Gurmag Angler right now, or just another Wasteland. Edict's pretty solid as well. All right, that's good too, because now we can use our mana at the end of our turn. So what do they have? They've got, they have, don't have enough mana to activate this thing. I think I'm just going to eat it. I think I'm just going to abrade this collar because it makes it so like it's 4 4 4. Yeah, absolutely not. Yeah, now we're just going to abrade this to use our mana. Destroy target artifact. Like Chalice doesn't really do a lot to us right now. Yes, Autumn. Autumn did win today. She, she did well. All right. I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna get off of this edict here. You got Autumn. Played well every time I watched her. All right, we got that covered. We don't have to discard a card. Gasoline. I like Autumn's stream too. I've donated to her stream and I was, I was subbed to her stream for a little while. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think anything changes player draw. It's not really that kind of a matchup. We're just going to submit. Hopefully we get a kind of a, a little bit of an aggro Delver draw. Like that would be nice. Okay. I haven't seen. Yeah, the Delvers just—they haven't really been there. They have not really been there. Um, gotta keep this hand. You get chaliced on one, but like, such is life. Probably gotta keep this wasteland too. Now we need to find answers to it here. <clears throat> um, you should be able to see it on the cardboard live extension. Yep, that is what we were worried about. But we can waste off of this. Find enough ways to deal with this thing. Maybe I'm supposed to keep the wasteland just because... Um, just because... Okay. We can just cast spells into that chalice now, which is nice. <clears throat> there are actual factual delvers. They're there, I promise. Yeah, I was really impressed with Autumn's play. I've watched Autumn's stream for a while and just just like hung with Reed. Um one I think the Esper versus Mono Blue matchup is pretty solid for Mono blue, but 
you know, I don't know a lot about standard. All right. The first one's good. The second one's better. I top eight of the challenge. Lost in the quarterfinals because Magic Online is incapable of putting the correct person on the play draw. I mean, if you look at my list, like I was second going into the, I was second going in, and I just I was on the draw. And you see my deck list. You see my deck list is much better on the play. I went ten for ten when I was on the play. Okay, force of will pitching random blue one draw. We're pitching the spell pierce because we have to like we have to use mana in order to play that. Or we, we need a target, excuse me. That's what I meant to say there. Would have liked to not force that. All right. Days this. And I think I'm just going to double brainstorm. Like, we're just turning it up here. Double chalice trigger. Because now we have a three turn clock. Yeah, I lost the Grixis Phoenix in the quarters. I right, less than that. Okay. I think you should have hard cast days. You would hard cast days instead of like pick up the mana to make. All these one ones in the face of double chalice. There, um, Chad. Seven mana. Is this an all is dust? One brainstorm because cloud forest. Oh, gross. That probably beats us. Use one brainstorm. So you're assuming they don't draw a blocker, though, right? Well, what I went, to, I went to, I put six power on the board, which six power is like. Assuming they play a blocker, it's better. That days would be nice last turn. I'm just gonna cast this. In case they have some like weird follow-up. I guess we could have dazed the follow-up. No, they would have taken it. Yeah, so it's a three-turn clock, assuming they don't add to the board, right? USA. Which I would be surprised if they didn't. Like if they didn't add to the board, then like they're probably gonna lose anyways. I probably should have just let this go. I don't know why. I thought it was like a thought not here, so I'm like, I'm just gonna daze it. Because they're gonna take it anyways. Wow, that's a nice draw. <clears throat> Unfortunately, that gets killed. Oh man, the Endbringer just lines up so well against this Vidillion click. I probably should have to like hold this click now. My gosh, this Endbringer bodies this Vendillion click so hard. They add to the board, we don't have another way to interact, we just die yet. Not necessarily. If we get out ahead of it, we can beat it. Okay. Do I click myself? I have two edicts left in my deck. I probably have to like click myself. What can I hit here that matters? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're at 10 right now. Yes, but if we continue to snowball, we might have a chance. And that was my thought behind that. You know, and like 
might not have been right, but I think I think it's good to snowball it here. I think I have to click myself. And I probably want another black source because like my red cards aren't gonna do a lot. It does kind of suck how this th this Endbringer just bodies this Vendillion click so hard. Oh, hang on. Okay. I've actually never resolved a Vendillion click before. Well, that wasn't it. All right, click down. Edict. Ooh, that's a good one. That's it, Chief. Probably just have to attack. Because like they draw a card, it's tough for them to add to the board without tapping this ancient tomb. Like they, I guess they have five mana, so they can add to the board pretty easily. Price progress would be nice right now. Colossal draws the spells. Don't do that. All right, that's not good. Which means I can't attack unless I hit another one. Now I'm drawing dead, right? Because they just ping me, untap, ping me. Yeah. GG's opponent. Attack for them to two. I do not have pop. It's ping. That always does hurt. Because even if we hold back, they go ping, attack, we can block. But we're just drawing dead because we can't draw two edicts because we can't like brainstorm into anything. Right. Got it. Both teams tried hard. That's a good match. Three really close games. Like we almost, we were like a lightning bolt from winning game one through an Ulamog. And that game, we were pretty close. I guess like the double. Like if we draw the days a turn before we do, then we just daze the all is us and the game's over. Um, uh, if that Endbringer is any other creature, the game's over because the click just kills him in the air. Like both of the both of the margins on those those two games we lost were just like, you know, we just got kicked the wrong way, you know. I'm grabbing another mirror. I'll be right back. But I was so mad. The challenge today, like, I just hate that Moto does random play draw. Like, I went, I went nine and zero or ten and zero today on the play with this deck and the challenge, and then on the number two seed and I'm on the on the draw against the seven seed, and like, the Phoenix decks beats me game one probably like they should, and. I just man and denial blow the brakes off of them in game two, and then like they just they they squeak out a really close good game in game three. And it's like if I'm gonna play two of those, I think I win that match, kind of going away. Mm -hmm. 
which is just kind of sad. <clears throat> we are one and one. We lost a close match to uh, to Grixis, or not to Grixis, to uh, Eldrazi. Really close. Good games all the way around. We're going to have to mulligan. We're on the draw. Your boy. And hopefully it's a good match. This is like Abe Corrigan you're talking about, right? I know he's borrowing this one. It's Abe Corrigan, Mr. Number One on the SCG Tour leaderboard at the moment. Mulligan. Two looks at a land. We have a force. I kept this hand in the challenge. Put on the bottom. Show me land. We get two looks at 19 tries. Okay. Exploration. It's number one on the said leaderboard. Land. We deserve that. It's like, I don't think it's right to mulligan his hand, though. Like, you've got threats. You have counter magic. Like, you really can... Like, you need a, like are you going to get a hand that functional on five cards? I don't know. Gamble. Uh, I like think it's Punishing Fire or Life in the Loam, which are cards we cannot beat. All right, game's probably over now. Let's, he's just got a, a really anemic draw. Got that. It's Caracas. Okay. All right, Alone is probably going to do it. I'll take one more draw step here. Because, like, loam basically means I draw three cards a turn with Exploration. Like, I'm not playing through that now. I guess I'm going to play through that. They haven't shown us a Wasteland yet. Maybe they don't find a Wasteland. You never know. A guy can hope, right? Punishing Fire Grove. All right. We'll scoop it up to that. I was hoping for the slow tick of death. That makes one of us. All right. So we want Surgical. We want Diabolic Edict. Bitter Blossom is like kind of medium. Because... It, it, I mean, like, it does chump block Merrillage, stays ahead of uh, whatever it is, um, stays ahead of Punishing Fire, but, like, it's bad against Tabernacle, but my whole deck's bad against Tabernacle, so should I, should I think about it like that? Let me see what I have to side out. Stifle's not that great here, because, like, you're just hitting triggers from... Um, fetch lands, like you can hold off on uh, whatever it is. Yeah, I don't think I can either. Like, I'm just going to lose to Tabernacle. Like, a, a well played Tabernacle is just going to beat me, anyways. 
If I have five, five and five. And I kind of want to keep all the rest of my cards. So I think I just board in one bitter blossom. True name's good. I can cut a bolt, but I, I like being able to just cheese them out of the game. Like, if I had a price of progress, I'd bring it in here. But is Bitter Blossom better than Lightning Bolt? I think Bolt's better. Because, like, if I can just push and get them to, like, a low light total, I have so much more inevitability if I have multiple Bolts left in my deck. So you just need to reach. So we're just going to give this a whirl. All right, we're going to keep this. We're going to ponder for lands. <clears throat> Maybe I can board out like a true name. I don't know. Is this deck the truth? Should I stop being stubborn and play it? Are you talking about like Grixis Delver or like this version of it? I think it's good. I think you should play it. Like I, I want to play a game on narrow margins. Like I dislike how all of the other Grixis decks. I'm gonna get a like I'm gonna get a volcanic island because it's probably gonna get wasted. We want to keep as many underground in our deck. Um ooh. Oh god. This is the the prey. I like playing the game on narrow margins. I think that's because like I'm not super great in this game at this format. Being a rug double play, that's okay. I think it is. I think you want to play the game on narrow margins. Oh, that was a rug delver deck in, in modern. It was not good. I wanted it to be good, but it was not. No way, Jose. It unfortunately sets us back again, but what are we gonna do? Oh, that's nice. Um I'm going to play this so I don't get wastelanded. Yep. Shitty cards and doing well. <laughs> A man that knows what's going on right there. We're actually not very far off this Gurmag Angler. And like, Gurdad is really good in this matchup. I actually have it on YouTube right now. I just haven't like edited it and set it up. I have, I'm gonna have four videos that are gonna be ready to go on YouTube tomorrow, but I'll probably like space them out and do one a day. Dude, the the goose, the one one. Grixis Shadow. I don't know. No, I, I have Grixis Shadow lists. I think from last week. Let me go look. I just went over 100,000 uh, views on my YouTube channel, which was gasoline. Um, I have three Grixis Shadow. I have four Grixis Shadow videos on YouTube from the last two weeks. Okay, that resolves, I guess. I'll watch them all. Yeah, then I don't have anything up there now. I think I'm going to spell Pierce alone. 
because it puts two cards in the graveyard. Okay, that's odd. I'm going to brainstorm at a turn. Like Ghost Quarter. So if I brainstorm in a turn, one, two, three, four, five, if I find another land, I can play Gurmag Angler. So I think I'm going to do it. And I'm just going to get another Valk because I'm fairly certain this is going to get Wastelanded. That is a fan, yeah. And I appreciate all of them. All the views that I get. We didn't find a land. What a tilt. What a super tilt. Now we're just like dead as a doorknob. Like I probably have to like bolt them and daze my bolt. You know, brainstorm. I'm trying to like if I hit a fetch land, another fetch land, I can play Gurmag Angler. But that that's what I was trying to do here. I think I'm gonna bolt. If they go to Ghost Score this, I think I'm gonna bolt them and daze the bolt. I still think I'm gonna do that. Cause like I don't really know how I'm winning this game. And it probably involves Trunay Nemesis or Gurmag Angler. What are they doing? Are they like building up to Tireless Tracker plus Clue? What's going on here, opponent? Exploration. They haven't shown me a loam yet, but if they do have a loam, then that ghost quarter is gonna gonna do me dirty. I think I gotta force this. We will watch live for two weeks because I have school and stream next week. Well, that's cool. Doesn't watch first to YouTube. Um, Are you saying if I pierce it, then they don't they don't ghost quarter me? The problem is we know when my top card's dead. My top card's just another lightning bolt. Yeah, I think I'm gonna force this and I'm gonna pitch the spell pierce because I think the daze is gonna counter a ghost quarter. You pitch true name. I feel like I, I don't have an actual. If I pitch true name, I don't really have an, a route to victory. You know. I might I might have talked the second one. I don't remember to be a hundred percent honest. That might be good as well. If I if I have a second true name, then I should have pitched it. Yeah, I did. And then and I just forgot here. This is just like a mistake of whatever. Two stream leagues in the challenge today. But we just pass. Yeah, I just I just hundred percent forgot this was there. Should have just let it get whacked. Is it a sideboarding game? Yes. Port me. Okay, so I have to control phase this, return this. I would like to play one for my days. And they can just port me, I guess, which like might make this loose. But like, if I let them wasteland me, they're just gonna port me into like the next moon. I should have definitely pitched a train though. Like, 
It just went over my head here. I might make a drink and watch this instead. Okay, well, you're not watching much. All right, um, we're gonna draw the fours. Then we're gonna play Gurmag Angler and we're gonna cross our fingers that our opponent doesn't do anything for the rest of the game. Should wait for modern or standard. In some ways, he knows what's going on. I said luck to Force that. Show me a dark depths. Okay. All right. I mean, like, they're at 15. This, this Gurmag Angler is technically a three turn clock. We're not really doing anything else, but, like, you know. We did we did all the things that we had to do earlier today. And if we if we lose this, we lose this. I top eight of the challenge today, Tannen. I don't know if you saw that. But that was a nice kind of break in the slump. Tabernacle. Alright, I yield. I yield opponent. Okay. Let's win the last two. 3 2 this league. <clears throat> yeah, so like I was saying, I think I think that like these cool value cards that they need to become cards that you can sub in for stifle if you're gonna play this deck here. I did own today. I got the deck list from people that own better than I do, but did pilot it well today. 61 card special from an opponent. The Wasteland Heater. All right. I will take a Wasteland or a Daze for a Scry. It's all I want. I don't ask a lot. That will do. This is better than a random draw. Probably is because I can't counter a creature. I could regret that, but like worst comes to worst, it just flips my Delver. Shaves a turn off the clock. What other decks? There was like a Stoneblade deck. There was a Phoenix deck, which is one that I lost to. Um, God, that still pisses me off that Moto can't put the person that's on the higher seat on the play. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. You're not going to crack that, opponent? Are we, just, are we not going to do that? Are we not about that life? I'd like to reveal a white bolt. One time. Come on. You're thinking about it. Good night, Irene. Oh, this is why I play magic. Come on. Yes. <clears throat> Can confirm. Tina is the first you going to the top eight of one. Okay. Yeah, that 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 makes me so mad. I can't even describe how frustrating that is. Like, like obviously I went nine and zero or ten and zero on the play today in the challenge, and I'm the number two seed with like going in, and I'm paired against a seven. I'm on the draw. Looking for a daze here. I don't think any of these are good enough, unfortunately. Like I could just draw Delver, draw Force of Will, draw Underground Sea, but that sounds like super medium. All right, well, we drew one of those. <clears throat> yeah, it's just so dumb how Moto can't do that. It's like... We, are we playing the same game here? Do we not have a land opponent? Okay. Brainstorm main phase. This is a powerful play. Okay. 
I might draw Bob, I think. And if this is a Miracles, I think I'm just going to, like, jam into it. Like, just get them low enough to where hopefully I can, I don't know, chip shot them out of the game. It's kind of an odd time to brainstorm, though. All right. So let's do some math. Play this, bolt them to 10, 3, hit them to, bolt them, 6 power, 10, 4. If they crack a fetch, they're in bolt range. I'm just going to be mana efficient and play the Pyromancer. And then we're, we're like... Likely just bolting them. Because they can't terminus me right now. Okay, crack your fetch land. Or be afraid. Okay. You get this one. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm just playing against a combo deck. I think. Could be playing a Delver Mirror. I am playing a Delver Mirror. Okay. No, we're playing the Mirror. We're playing Blue Red. Playing Into Days. I kind of just want to bolt this, but it's probably loose. Like the 1 1's not worth. Playing into days, I don't think. All right. Let me attack first. Play my Delver. And we will flip the Delver. Now, uh, let me just bolt this first. I guess I could have saved that bolt to bolt them, which might have been right, but I kind of just wanted to like use that while the shields are down. I don't know. I probably should have waited. But like if they flip the Delver, then they have a blocker and that plan's just like gone to shit. And now I have to bolt it when they have mana up. If they flip the Delver though, all of a sudden, yes, but if they flip the Delver, Lawrence, we have to try to bolt the Delver into mana. I understand that it's lethal, but like, it feels like I'm like not pressing the advantage that I have in order to do it. Okay. They have way more cards than I do, so maybe I'm supposed to take that into account. All right, show me. No. I'll fetch a volcanic island. Then I will attack my opponent for one. I wish I could have saved my Pyromancer to do something, but that's a nice draw. And it's going to flip our Delver, which is good. So really a Gurmag Angler here would be so nice because we can play it and not get dazed. <clears throat> They're going to force this. I'm kind of down if they force this. <laughs> I want to shuffle away two of these. Like maybe this Daze isn't that good. This Dave hits like true name, but like are we that worried about you? We can put the Daze on top and then shuffle it away. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. I don't think we're drawing the days. Yeah. Wasteland. Okay. 
I should have floated a mana. We're going to be 100% above the rim here. Ooh, my opponent's going fishing. Yep, you got it. All right, flip, flip our homie, shuffle our homie. We have to win this game here because like we're gonna be on the draw for a couple of them. This deck is no bueno on the draw. Ooh. That is what Papa Bear likes to see. And this is forcible, I, I'm pretty sure, at this moment in time, because, like, this thing just walls your... Okay, I guess this means they have removal for it or just don't have a force. I'm going to take a shot to start. Gross. Delver down. Maybe they'll attack. All right, they're going to attack. They're not going to attack. They might attack. Probably not, but could. Who knows? Nope, that's good on you, opponent. Ooh. Can I just get dazed? My opponent hasn't dazed me at all this game. They haven't dazed. My opponent hasn't used a counter spell this entire game. So I don't really want to play this two name this is Because this is my ticket. I'm far enough ahead where I think I can wait. Yeah, I really don't want to get this thing dazed. It's just going to feel so bad if it does. Like, whatever, the turn seven days, like, just kill me. They crack this they attack, crack the fetch, and play like their own true name, and then all of a sudden they're dead at the pyromancer. Because of the token from the bolt. We got him we got him here. Like we're leaning on him. We just gotta we just gotta like barely get across. Um barely get across the finish line. If I was in a worse situation, I'd probably jam this true name, but we're just not in that bad of a spot. What do you got, opponent? All right, so what changed? What made you make this attack? I'm going to bolt and a turn so that they use resources. Like if they go force pitch days here or something like that, that might then like they have one card for my true nemesis. All right, show me that days. Okay. Double Pierce. And now we're just going to jam. Like, th this makes sense to have two of these rotten in your hand. If you have two of these and a daze, then, like, good on ya.
You can't crack this fetch land unless you add to the board. Got him. Get out of my face. <clears throat> we had another guy today, Connor. Like, read this. Like I said, this happened in the same thing. This is in a this is in a like a, a PTQ. Lost classic finning in the top four. I'm pretty upset with Magic Online that I lost both die rolls as the number one seed. It's such a joke. Like another guy that that happened to. It's, it's just such crap. So we have to find we have to get these out of our deck on the draw. And I think we're gonna be able to do that pretty easy. Like we're gonna bring in our blasts, bring in edict. Probably bringing click because now we can afford to get like a force of will or two out, and then I'll bring in like a random or braid. Because this is the problem with this deck, and this is why I think there has to be like like this Vendillion click. Oh, we want the lava man. Sorry, I missed that. So maybe we like don't bring in this a braid. It's kind of clunky. The problem with this deck. Well. It just randomly does it, Tannen, and it's annoying that um, it's just annoying that like all top eight premieres. That's what happened to me today. I was the number two seed in the challenge, and I was on the draw against the seven, which was just like crap. When my deck is like this, deck is so good on the play that it's unreal. Like, I mean, I know I'm preaching to the choir, but like. If I can figure out how to win games, I think I won half my games on the draw and was undefeated on the play in the challenge. Like, if I can figure out how to win games consistently on the draw, then this deck is nuts. It's so annoying. We're playing a different game of Magic. Like, you're just playing a different game of Magic. I tweeted about this earlier. It's just like, it's just such a joke. And, like, like a modern challenge, like a lazy challenge, whatever. That's like a Magic Online thing. You can say it's just a Moto thing. So even though it, it can lead to the Pro Tour if you get enough format points, but whatever. Let's not. Let's not. Um, how do I say this? So like mine's whatever. This guy's was an MCQ, literal a PTQ that leads directly into the. I'm gonna keep this hand because that has a lot of lands. It, we can get run over, but we're not gonna. We're gonna be able to play Magic. And we have a wasteland our opponent mulligan. Um, it literally leads into the paper game, these uh, PTQs. And you're playing a different game of Magic. It's just, it's like such a joke. I think, I think like I, I won the die roll. I, I lost, the guy that I lost to was the um, same guy that I beat in round five. And, like, I can show you the replays of the games that I was on the play, and they just weren't games of Magic. What they do with this? They put a card on the top. So, like, if they put, if they need a land, I don't really want to, I kind of want to wasteland them. But, like, if they put a card on top, you know it's, you know if they need a land, then they've got it. So, like, I think I'm just going to look for a way to force this Pyromancer through. I think this deck's very good. If you can figure out how to win games that on the draw, then I think it's very good. The format's not ready for Dark Confidant. Like, Dark Confidant's just insane. If my opponent would have put something on the bottom and then played this Underground Sea... Ooh. Nice. So we're going to put this Bob third. What do I want? I want this Bob more than I want this Pyroblast, but I have a Pyromancer. So let's put this Bob third. Let's put this Bolt on top and let's draw the Pyroblast. And we can do something like Wasteland them, blow this up if we need to. Or I can just shuffle the Bob away and then, like, um, get rid of this. Though the card they might have kept on top might have been just something to flip Delver and they don't have land, so I should think about that as well. I probably should have thought about that.
I think this deck is the stones. Here's another line. Oh, they're gonna waste me. I'm just gonna wasteland them, I think. Well. Hmm. Whatever. I'm sleeping up. I'm off it. <laughs> I think also I just want to play games on a narrow on a more narrow uh setup. I think I want to just develop my mana here. Like I'm gonna I'm going to blast this brainstorm, I think. Well, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do in my life? They go to brainstorm in a turn. What am I gonna do? I think I'm just gonna blast this brainstorm. We'll shuffle the bob away. Like, like I said, you just you have to figure out ways to win on the draw. And I think that means just like putting like a pile of Inquisition and Kozilex in the, in the sideboard. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm just like, I get nervous because I'm so far ahead that I don't want to like not be ahead, you know, if that makes sense. Because, like, now, maybe if they take my Lightning Bolt, we could get in a little bit of trouble. Though I'm probably just going to play Pyromancer, and then I'll, like, flash click in to block. Like, we have a four turn clock here. I kind of just want to wasteland them so they can't play magic. Ugh. Whatever. Like, I'll figure this Delver out. This just like shuts the door, I think. Like, it's a brainstorm at the end of the turn. And I've got four more outs, five outs in the deck. Oh, what a, what a shizer. I think I'm going to brainstorm end of turn. Like, as loose as this, you know, is, quote unquote. All right. We don't need Bob. How you doing, Rob? All right, let's just play out this Lava Man. Lava Man's answering my problems. Lava bang. Opponent's kind of close to Gerdad and me. Like, we shoot this thing down, then they've got five cards, so just a land does it. All right, we're definitely shuffling, because, okay. Don't waste me, bro. <clears throat> That's what I think Inquisition is where this deck wants to be in the sideboard. We're in a lot of trouble to occur Mag Angler still, but like, you know, we'll figure it out. We also could just get like double bolted out of this game. I really hope to know Phil one day. <laughs> Dylan, you're great, but like your dog really outranks you. 
Um, I should upkeep this. My opponent knows about this land, so let's just upkeep, shoot this thing, or if they, whatever, if they go to uh, use it. I love people named on pets. Yeah, dude. If you ever go to Baltimore, you can just, you know, crash at my place and you can meet the dog. The dog will love you. I might have played this game, like, super passively. Hence why we're at five. And, like, I still couldn't lose this game. God, wouldn't I love to daze that thing? Maybe in Baltimore for regionals. Well, Zach, pending the wife's permission, I don't know how far away it is for you, but if you need a place to crash the night before, I'll talk to her about it. Gotta ask the boss, because she is the boss. She's actually sick right now, so I was playing the challenge today, coming out and checking on her. <laughs> just, just mark it. Dude, I haven't played Shadow in so long. Like, Modern is so miserable. But it's just such a hell hole. It's going to take me like a, a week of just like grinding to get back into like the small sequencing. So you have no reason not to go? Is that what you're saying, Tannen? If they had a legacy team tournament, just three legacy players. Wouldn't it be like you, Jody Keith, and then whoever? Because like you're in that area. All right, so this is a fish. So I'm just gonna slam this true name, and hope my opponent doesn't have an answer. To, doesn't have an answer to it. How's it going, Robot 3000? An edict would be nice. All right. I go to four. We're not going to three, so this fetch lands Gonzo. Whoopsies. Oh, thank you for the host. I hope your stream was good. Mr. Jedi himself. Oh, no, that's the wrong fairy. I guess this isn't a fairy. Rug, blue, white, and Grixis. Nice. You gonna daze me? It wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility for my opponent to have a daze here. We are one and two in this league. Dude, that would be awful. I would just have my opponents not talk to me. Just the, like a Delver mirror of that much. Yeah, dude, the lightsaber man himself. I love how all of these emotes, they're all Jedi flavored. I hope your stream went well. I hope the Force is with you as well. We better win Niagara when we go now with this. What is my opponent doing? Like, you gonna daze this? Like, if you have a daze, you're obviously dazing. And my team had to watch me play a game versus Elves with Shadow. Did you get rewarded for it? I was like, what? <laughs> Does that make sense? We met a million chalice decks, but Force was with us in the end. 2 3 after two X one ones. Good. I saw you, I watched you stream a little bit earlier today when you were playing a Phoenix deck. And I was just checking it out for a while. I 
They had it. That feels so good when you play around something. Like, what is my opponent doing? Come on. What are we doing? Wookie burn. What's the difference between burn and Wookie burn? But it feels it feels so good when you play around something and like you go out of your way of like you in your head you go out of your way to play around something and you win the game because of it. Oh yeah, yeah. You're just like, how does how does this get how does this go bad? Yeah, I had to like cut stifles. I don't know, that's the problem with this deck. I need like auto cards that I just bring in on the draw that I just cut stifle for. Like what I do? I cut I cut two stifles and forces, and I brought in I cut two forces, four stifles, I cut in I brought in um two blasts, um, two edicts, and then a click and one other card, the Grim Lava Mancer. I want to kill two creatures. Your only threat. It's it's dangerous. <clears throat> Just never cracking this fetch land. Dude, I enjoy Lawrence Strings. They are great, because Lawrence is one of the few Magic players that actually communicates well, which is a difficult part. So I'm probably just, like, brainstorm into brainstorm locked. I block. Call. You got it. I'm just going to attack with my Lava Mancer. I'm not cracking this fetch land. I said you communicate well, which makes learning easier, Lawrence. I'm just going to attack with this Lava Man. Then I kind of want to click them now. But, like, my click's going to resolve or not. Like, it doesn't matter. But I didn't play a land, so, like, whatever. We should let this go. Click in the end of the turn. Or if they attack like that stupid shit they just did, then I'll flash this click in and like try to trade. Oh, that makes sense. But I don't want to click. Like I might just click to see what's going on. Yeah, I guess then I can just five them. Like I, don't, I want my cards. I guess I could ditch this Pyromancer for a Counterspell so that we don't lose like a random Marsh Casualties. I think I'm actually going to cycle this young Pyromancer. Because, like, we just have enough to win this game. All right, Force of Will. You got it. You got it, opponent. Four Force of Wills. You playing the first league today, and how was the go there? This is, uh, so I streamed two leagues this morning. It wasn't Legacy, though. Um... And I top eight of the challenge today. Yeah, this deck is super soft casualties. What is this? Two mana, black, blue. It's a Baleful Strix. Oh, another Gurmag Angler. That could be a problem. But we can, like, block out of it because of this true name. So, like, I'm not super worried about it.
All right, we're going upstairs with this lava man. Oh, we're not going to shoot itself. That would be so bad. I'd have been motoed out of that, and I would have been so angry. You know, it'd be nice, like a like a ponder. Ponder would be nice. I really don't want to ever crack a fetch. Yeah, we'll take that. That means my opponent's two lands from True Nemesis now. Nerf <laughs> Lava Man. So we kind of have to throw a Pyromancer under the bus if our opponent attacks, which kind of sucks. Oh no. We're in trouble. This is probably a lightning bolt. Targeting my Lava Mancer or Young Pyromancer. Whoa. Wow. That just does it. I yield. Dude, Fork Bolt from the heavens. You want to talk about getting browned? That is getting browned. Okay, so on the play, I want these back in. We can get this out of here. <clears throat> yep. I'm gonna ditch these spell pierces on the play. Get this click out of here. Um, got one more card. It's probably just a force. Make it so our bob's lower to the ground. <clears throat> Who would like to play first? Uh, this hand's like medium. Kind of sucks. Really reactive on the play, but like I can just wasteland out of it, wasteland them out of the game. So I'm gonna keep it. Lead on our bloodstained mire. Well, I probably should lead on my Valk. Because if they waste this, now nah, I'm gonna lead on this. You prefer the braid over the second blast. I like the blast because it deals with true name. And when you have Bob, like sometimes your life points get down low. Alright, I'm just gonna daze this. I'm gonna daze this, wasteland my opponent. Well, actually, should I daze this? Because then I can't wasteland them if they daze back and they take another card. I probably just shouldn't. Do this, yeah. Now I messed up. Yep, days is bad. I, f I figured it out like halfway through my fetch land. And the problem is I fetched. Yeah, no, I'm, and, and I just pissed away a fetch land because of it. Yep, it took me a second. I was just about half a click behind y'all. Alright, waste you. Now it kind of sucks. I just like took away a fetch, which means if I hit like a Pyromancer or a Bob after I waste them, then they waste me, I can't play it. Sadness on the stack. Playing anything on stream sucks. Yeah, so I just got wastelanded here for no real reason. I kind of don't want to run my colored source of mana out either. Like, I think I'm just going to play my Wasteland. <clears throat> I 
probably just drew it on the street. <laughs> yeah, we're just like, whatever. Like, if they don't want to play a land, they don't have to. I mean, like, it's fine and it's not fine. Like, we could have a fetch land in play, but we're an idiot. And we don't have a fetch land. Because I decided to be a bonehead. That's dead. Okay. So we wasteland first so that we don't get browned here, and then we bolt this Delver. <coughs> Sucks that everyone knows it's the best. Now I have to play mono blue and standard. <laughs> I'll play mono blue and standard. It looks so hard to play. Like playing a deck without removal that interacts through creature combat seems so difficult. You can force this because like there's just another one coming. Like you can force this if you have another wasteland. We're just both gonna get wastelanded into the oblivion into like the time zone here. Well, it's it's not like playing a Delver deck, right, Tannen? Because like you have more tools. Like it's playing like half a Delver deck, right? Unless you count Trickster. Unless you're telling me Trickster's Lightning Bolt. Well, you should have just won. You know what I mean? We're just having like a cripple fight here. I'd probably discard my True Nate Nemesis before I bolt their face. If I had to assume. I agree. Their arc. I mean, I tried. Are you sure you tried? To fuel the angler. All right. You have nothing. I have nothing. Magic's great. What do we got? Are we going to flip this bad boy? God, we're going to flip this bad boy. Dude, I love these Star Wars emotes. Being 0 for 11 does not feel great. Yeah, I can, uh, I can agree with that statement here. Oh, God, we can't win. They're about to bolt my Delver and then cantrip into whatever. Don't say such hateful things, Lawrence. Okay, we're dead. Looks like a Delver. All right, get rid of this true name because we're literally never going to cast it. How many lands do I have left in my deck? They make mana. There's one, there's two, there's three. So I've got 12. 12 more that work. Don't worry, we time it out. Yeah. Not if this Delver flips. I don't even feel bad if we timed it out. My opponent took so much time to play. God, yes, dude. I love the turn 10 strike ball. I guess we just ditch like the stifle. Flip it. Lightning bolt. That's not fair. How am I supposed to beat that? <clears throat> the sad thing is we don't even have a counter spell to fight over this with. Like we can't even daze back after they like daze us. All right. Is it just like upkeep bolt this thing? Mm 
bolted in response to a brainstorm. Bolt your delver. Fine. This is like 100% getting dazed, right? But I guess it was getting dazed. Wow. Holy shit. I can't believe they didn't daze that. I can't believe that resolved. Yeah, like they, my opponent hasn't stopped anything that I've done. The nice thing about playing Legacy is like you feel something every time you play it. You know what I mean? Like, like on every single one, of, like I'm, I feel like I'm sweating like every single one of my draw steps. Pyromancer, sweet. Land. Ask and you shall receive. Um, I actually would like my Gurmag Angler to resolve more than this Fort Bolt because we have another one. So we're just going to go like this. And like, well, I guess they could have days. I could just like bolt this and then not get dazed. And then just like wait a turn. <clears throat> Killing young pyramids because of time. I see where your priorities are. It's a good thing I'm done with that. I already did my damage. You would, because you can like clean up the pyromancer damage with four bolt next turn. That makes sense. God, you're so smart and thin, Lawrence. Wow. I really dismantled my opponent in that third game to pull it out. All right, baby. Give me this 3-2. Give me this 3-2. Give me this 3-2. About my fetching. Is it not good? If they counter the bolt, you get a token to clean up PV. This token perfection gives me a heart attack. Take it easy. Well, I mean, to be fair, like, to be fair, I, I understood that fetching was wrong right after I did it. Or at least we're talking about that first one. Oh, we're on the play? Nice. Not even a stifle. Rude. Not good with the polite way of saying. Lawrence, I'm like four beers deep in like 22 games of Legacy deep today. Like the, the time to think out my lines is gone. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. I'm going to draw... We're gonna go like this. Draw the stifle. We don't want the other force, I don't think, unless we want to pitch the force to the force. Okay, well you're better than I am, Lawrence. It's like you're the two seed in the first round of top eight. <laughs> Get like me nerd, damn. <laughs> What's happening? Wow. I kind of want to force this. Because, like, if I don't force this, then, like, my stifle on top of my deck doesn't really do anything. You know what I mean? Like, if I just let my opponent... It's like probably like what is this a fucking dryad arbor? 
I could also just like brainstorm for a lightning bolt. But then I'd have to spew my fetch land, my top card's force oil. Or I could just not do anything. I think I'm just not gonna do anything. I'm gonna stifle a fetch land like a professional right here. And then I'm gonna play a true name nemesis force oil back up. New phone who dis. How's it going, Dean? God, you bastard. That's rude. I really don't want to play through this card. I think I'm going to force this and then draw my next force and pitch this stifle to it. Like I'm going to go here, here, draw force, play, true name, pitch stifle, pitch, force, pitch stifle to a Knight of the Reliquary. <clears throat> I guess I should just pitch this stifle because, like, it's not going to do anything anymore. Here comes Arbor Beats. I should have brainstormed. Well, eh, I don't know. I don't know. The problem is if I have to brainstorm, I know like I have one dead card. Nah. Whatever. My opponent's just gonna they're, they're like green white deck, whatever. They're just gonna fold this true name. All right, I guess I don't brainstorm. What is this? What is this shit? All right, get out of my face. I have no cards. The best brainstorm is one you never need to cast, as they say. What smart individual, what smart people do that? Oh, gas. Yo, hopefully you can't kill my Pyromancer. Welcome to the Maverick matchup. Land a true name nemesis and force the rest of the things that matter. I, the problem is I like playing this format so much that I just want to cast all my cards. It's not 2005. Uh, I'm not just going to make a token. I'm not going to brainstorm here to make a token, I don't think. What is this shit? I kind of want to brainstorm now because I could daze this. And this is a Night of the Reliquary. We haven't seen a daze yet. God, I'm so smart and thin. Yeah, my brain is so big. And we're going to draw Dark Confidant. And we're just going to draw like 17 cards. Extra cards a turn. I don't think I'm going to replay my land. Because like I know my top card's a land. And I would like more cards, more gas for Brainstorm, I think. But like I also have Bob, so that's just not really a problem. Shut up, Lawrence. They already used the plow. What is this? What do you have, like 42 knights in this deck? Holy shit. Oh, they have more, just more cards out route. <laughs> Yo, Lightning Bolt would be sweet. I won't block. You got it. So we're drawing a fetch land. I didn't do anything. All right. Uh, am I attacking? I don't think I am. I think if I'm drawing two cards a turn, I want this game to go as long as possible. So I think we're just passing. Time to ride this slim, thick fish to victory. <laughs> Titania? What the fuck is Titania? Am I stifling a night activation? Probably not. Though they could get like Maze of Ith. 
So they could get like Tabernacle, they're just gonna do that next turn. Cards that are tough to beat for a thousand. This is Maverick. They don't play Maze or Knackle? Okay. Another true name would be sweet. A Delver would be nice. Yeah, dude, you got it. All right. You got it. They're just getting a Wasteland here. I guess I should just stifle a wasteland here. Like with this Thallium play, I just want to keep as many of my lands as possible. And before they hit hold. Alright. We want another true name or Delver. That wasn't any of those. We'll just pass. <clears throat> Yo, this spell pierce is going to tag something good. The card is not good at the moment. Delver God to play Tabernacle and Rug Delver. Really? Cradle Tabernacle is a combo. <laughs> Yo, every time they tap this cradle, I get nervous. Just like cards you can't beat for a thousand. God, I hope they just hard cast this thing. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Sword of Fire and Ice. I want to spell pierce that. They can pay, but it like gives me a chance. No batter skull main deck. You don't have to pay, opponent. So we have no outs to this hitting the table in game one. Oh shit, I can just equip and go to town. I don't have to put myself through this. Alright, block with Bob because Bob's gonna die anyways. Both teams play hard. <clears throat> Too bad. I do not play main deck of Brave, yes. Give yourself a chance to cry yourselves. That was unfortunate. That was a game that I felt like I was going to win, and then I just didn't. These are decent. These are decent. These are like maybe, and this is a maybe. But I think I want to make room for these. This card is probably a maybe. Cards I don't want on the play. I don't really want Spell Pierce. I don't really like Gurmag Angler. Gurmag Angler kind of like, it just gets plowed and like, it gets overmatched by like Knight. I'm playing kind of stack of horses. All right. Makes sense. It's like, which is better? Click, Blossom. I don't really want to bring in Blossom because they could just have like a derpy, um, Kasali Pride Mage. Just clicks bad. Do I leave in like a Spell Pierce? I probably can play like a Spell Pierce against the Green Sun Zenith deck. Yeah, why not? I can bring in a Cage, but that seems kind of mopey. Like Trickery, maybe? Card is basically an F of Strong Combo deck. I'd rather have Force. You like one angler? Ok, 
pierce his ass. All right, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. We'll get one of these in here. We'll get our fun of force of will. All right, I would like to be on the play. And I would like to keep this hand. I'm going to lead on Valk and ponder. It's foil Maverick. What do we got? What do we got? I would agree. Ooh. Um, I think we just go ponder. Go like this. I think next turn we're gonna go like we might even let a Dryad Arbor, like a Green Sun's Ant, resolve here. Because I'd like to be able to daze up Thalia next turn. Like, I don't really mind. I'm just thinking I'm just going to bolt this. Bolt this, hold up, stifle. Then I can, like, brainstorm if, like, everything goes wrong. Well, no, I can't brainstorm. So then maybe I messed up there. All right, well, this is good. I think I'm going to daze. Well, it lets me, takes me off True Name Nemesis, and the daze is going to be good anyways. I'm just going to let this go. I want to play True Name next turn, I think. Wow, they don't have another land. I don't remember what my top card, bottom card is. But whatever, I'm going to fetch for True Name. I don't think it's, I think it's like a Ponder or something like that. Delver's nice. Delver makes me want to look for a bolt, but I can do that next turn. Like, I'm likely going to be able to daze something here. We've got this in play. Yeah, I mean, I just didn't have a read on them. Like, if I didn't think they had mana, I would have dazed it. Like, if they didn't have a land follow-up. But I guess I could have, like, dazed it and, like, turned my stifle on if they needed it to. So, it, may, it might have just been poor all the way around. I'm just going to daze this. And then we're going to brainstorm for a way to kill this. Maze of Ith. Who said this didn't have Maze of Ith? Who, who did that? All right. In before, ready to get brainstorm locked. Not even close. Oh, this this is stupid because I guess it's not that stupid. Like it makes so I can't. Okay, gas. Um, let's just go like this, and I'll just bolt this thing. Attack them. Fast and loose. Was that you, Lawrence? The usually. Usually, mama. Kind of sucks we have nothing to flip this Delver to, but like, such is life. God, I'm about to get. I can just. I'm just ready for like a Galvari Charm or a Zealous Persecution here. All right. So now we're on the draw. So, these are garbage. Probably want this. And is like Gurmag Angler better than Bitter Blossom? Probably. It's so like, do I want this, this, or this? It's probably just this. Bring in all the forces. I'll, I'm right there with you there. 
Or so we only have 25 Delver hits, which is kind of sad. But it's the life we live. This will be the last match of the stream. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out. Y'all are great. All right. I wonder if they go dual land, Green Sun Zenith, if I force it. Oh, do I force Mom? This Mom is just such bad news, right? I just have to deal with this. And then I think I'm going to play a fetch land. I don't think I'm going to waste land. Yeah, now we definitely are not going to waste land. Yeah. Because half the time you force the wall there, you top deck a lightning bolt, you feel like an absolute moron. I agree. I just know that I'm gonna get like get both these in here, get all cozy. My opponent's gonna be like, "Go curry charm you." And I'm gonna be like, "I'm gonna hurl." I got browned by a go curry charm in the uh, in the challenge today. It was not good. Whoa. Flying, protection from blue, return to forest you control, untap target creature. I feel like this is bad news if I let this resolve. Well, that makes sense. Is it Telfer Scrib? I feel like this Scrib Ranger is going to be super annoying, but like if they just play Night of the Reliquary, then this is whatever. This is Return of Forest you control to its owner's hand. So they can just play around days anyways for Night of the Reliquary, so I'm just going to counter this. Because like this ramps them. Because like, whatever. If I don't counter this, then my days is never going to do anything. Yeah, I mean, neither of the queries. No bueno. Okay, that's that's annoying, but like beatable. It's really annoying. This is so slow. Am I crazy, man, if I want to shuffle this? Yeah, this is just like not good. All right. Don't play a creature. Now you're the reliquary Delver. Oh, this effect isn't even symmetrical. God, this card's annoying. Oh wow. Rest in peace, Edict. Stone Forge Mystic. Oh my god, we're dead as a doorknob. Both teams played hard. You got a sword, and you got a sword. Uh, 
What? Esper Stoneblade. Wow. What a treat. We drew a fetch land. So you're saying we're dead. All right. We're going to hit right click concede. Let me find someone to send y'all to here that I know or that anybody else in the chat knows. So let me go back to this deck here. And while this league was not great, I think that I think this deck is sweet. And more, I think this card is sweet. I think that people aren't really ready to handle to handle this card at the moment. Um, oh shoot! The, like people aren't ready to handle Bob. And I think for this deck to work, I have to like cut both of these cards here and bring in like some Inquisition of Kozilek, just something cheap that I can like play on the draw that's like respectable. Strong sad, okay. So like make these like two Inquisition of Kozilek that don't cost pain. So let me just go like this, just that I remember to do it. Um, quantity zero. All right, we'll send you all over to Strong Sad. Let me just have Moto not tweak out here. All right, looks like Moto is tweaking out. So we're going to send you all over now. I appreciate you all.